She bubbles. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We talk a lot here at PLC about <clears throat> excuse me, about the law of attraction. We forget sometimes that it really is a law. It's a universal law. Like does attract like. Our problem comes in that we hear it so often, it becomes kind of like a, yeah, yeah, I've been there, done that, doesn't always work. Well, fortunately, and also unfortunately, it does always work. <laughs> the fortunate part is that we attract to us what we think and what we believe. The unfortunate part is that we attract to us what we think and what we believe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the law of attraction has three parts. Attraction, creation, and allowing. The attraction part we have down pat. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. It's a law. It's always been there. We'll always be here. Our part starts with creation. Everything in our world starts <coughs> with a thought. It's in the mind. Our mind. God's mind. Same <coughs> mind. And, <coughs> excuse me. I'm just getting over one of those things. Sorry. One of those things Stephen's coming into. And it's in my throat. Um, so we, we monitor our thoughts and we uh, try to pick better and better thoughts to create better and better lives. And then we think that our job stops there. It doesn't always work. We've forgotten the allowing part. Now, allowing is, to most of us, means let it come in, let our good come to us. And we do that through uh, our desire, through our beliefs. Our desire is uh, we, we want strong, clear understanding of, of what it is that we want in our life, and we do that through writing our desires out, and we uh, meditate, we visualize, and then we have to believe. And we have to believe that we can get what we want. And we do that by knowing that we're part of Source and that in Source everything is already created for us. All we have to do is choose it through our thoughts. So if we could follow all these steps religiously, excuse the pun, <laughs> we would always be able to get everything in our lives that we want. But unfortunately, we forget <coughs> to work some of the steps. Fortunately, there's another little simple thing that we can do as part of allowing. It's another aspect of allowing. And it's, I accept who I am just as I am. And I accept everyone else just as they are. Think about that for just a second. How this works in the law of attraction is that if I am okay with who I am, <clears throat> then I am going to attract more of that feeling, more okayness. And if I allow everyone else to be exactly who they are, then nothing they say or do can change anything in my life. And I can go on merrily being okay with who I am and attracting more okayness. You get it? Mm -hmm. It's just a cycle. So, I accept who I am. And I accept everyone else exactly as they are. Thank you. Good work.